Okay, so let's go in three, two, one, now. Now. So this is assassin mode. Previously I did hardcore mod and boss mod. It's gonna be pretty similar to hardcore mod. But um yeah assassin mod um so actually in assassin mod you get four weapon slots because you cannot use magic, you don't even have an MP bar as you can see. You have this ability that turns you invisible for a few seconds and will make it so that you get a critical hit on whatever you attack next. Which is very very useful, but it does however cost HP to cast. It's like 3 or 4 HP, something like this. So you cannot spam it, of course. And yes, some of the accessories also have different effects in assassin mode. So for example, stuff related to magic will do completely something else in order to be relevant because as you cannot see, uh, as you cannot use magic, it wouldn't make sense to have magic based accessories and yeah actually well you are starting with 12 HP which is not a lot but once you get past the second boss you have enough HP It starts uh, being a little broken actually because of damage output which is frankly kind of ridiculous. Basically accessories are not balanced at all as hopefully we'll see if the run goes well and it's pretty okay for now it's not perfect but it's fine good enough So the next room is the first boss, which is in this run actually kind of dangerous just because you have to fight her with the first weapon, the starting weapon which is really really bad, it has no range and it does no damage basically. Okay. It's harder than it looks. Trust me.
Okay, I'm going to eat broccoli and daikon. Didn't expect to get hit one last time here, but okay. It went good enough. Not great, but not terrible, I guess. So you'll notice I'm rolling in the cutscenes. So that I can just be a little bit ahead as compared to getting the cutscenes the usual way. So we are told not to open chest but like this item is pretty good. Usually it would be um, boosting a category of spells, like the trap spells. But in assassin mode it actually adds magic damage to whatever weapon you are using. And uh, because it is fixed damage, and we are using a very fast shitty weapon, it means that our damage output is basically at least doubled maybe tripled, well, something like this, but yeah, it's not broken yet, it's just starting to be pretty good. I'm going to buy some meat here, because meat is the most Cost efficient food item. I mean, healing item, rather. Like, healing potions cost uh, actually more. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. Hey, cheese. So yeah, it's not broken for now, but now that I am picking up the katana, it's gonna be pretty broken now. What the katana does in assassin mode is uh, like, of course, instead of being a weapon, it's actually an accessory. And the yeah, just adds physical damage to whatever weapon you are using. So now I have added magic weapon, magic damage I mean, and physical damage. And I'm kind of one-shotting everything. So I need to buy something here. I'm gonna be selling everything I'm not using. Uh, yeah, selling mostly these. Okay, and I'm buying this. Which I won't be using quite now, but it will be useful later. This boss... Um, it's... yeah, the usual. It's basically the same whatever mod you are playing in. No, not again. Why? Why would you do this? I don't get why she jumps sometimes. Nice timing. Okay, okay. Not bad, despite the jump. Okay, so now I have a lot of HP. 
We are leaving this guy alone. And we are in the catacombs. I'm going to use the invisibility here to get past all these guys. Because the archer is kind of a pain. I have no idea why enemies are actually not here in assassin mode, but it's a thing. And yeah, in assassin mode you also don't get cutscenes in the catacombs, which is pretty cool. Sometimes I just cannot pick up items. Normally you would get like three cutscenes. Plus this one I guess. And in assassin mode you only get this one. So that saves time. I hate this archer guys. Eat some cheese. Cheese is always a good thing. You also don't get the two ghosts here. I'm going to sell stuff and buy actual potions to help me survive. Um, potion, potions here. Okay. To help me survive for the rest of the run. Yeah, in this boss, I'm going to use the invisibility thing quite a lot. And it does cost HP. Problem. Okay, it's fine. Actually, I need a water bottle right here and uh, probably uh, stuff, whatever. Got to open the door. Okay. So you'll notice I'm still using the first weapon. A starter weapon but here I'm going to switch to this which is almost the same but it's a little bit better I should use invisibility here just because of this freaking bee. I always forget to roll here. have used invisibility here actually. It's fine. I'm 
be using it here and in the next room too. a bit before the next boss which is coming up pretty soon okay position looks Right. Yeah, actually not, but it's fine. Okay, I'm going to be using um, this, this, and this, because why not? No! Oh, damn it. That's not good. Oh, what? What? Please to stop. Okay, thank you. Oh, what? Oh, damn it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I am doing everything wrong. Okay. Well, I guess in the end it wasn't too bad. When you only look at the time it took me. Um, so I'm equipping this last item that I bought much earlier. And what it does is add physical damage to your weapon. So I have three items that add damage to my weapon. And because it's such a fast weapon, well, it means that the game is kind of broken right now, I can do this. Kill everything in one hit. While invisible. Oh no, oh, okay. Fine. Good, good. going to rely a lot on invisibility these last um, dungeons I guess you can call them okay I did it I'm usually very bad at this. Time for the lusty Argonian maid. We are going to ignore this one maid and go straight for well, the next boss. Okay, I'm going to turn invisible here and pray for the jump. Yes, I got it. Hardest part of the run. Not even kidding. Okay, whatever. One more should be enough. Uh, 
I'm going to heal up a bit here. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so here I'm going to try and use a trick I used in boss mode. Yes. Okay. So yeah. Uh, in boss mode it's way easier, but you can do this trick in any mod. And basically you skip the whole room here. It's pretty good. Very useful. Okay, time for the next boss. Okay, perfect. Okay, very nice. Now I'm going to use this. They're invisible. And brutally murder her. Okay. Yeah, so it's not broken at all. Not worry about it. Last dungeon. Not much to say here. Just using invi invisibility to go through the last two enemy field rooms. Because they can be pretty spooky. And I am easily spooked. Time for the last boss. Okay, so I'm going to use whatever items I can find. Okay, seems very fine indeed. Oh, I missed energy drink yet here. Um, where is he? Yeah, right here. And there we go. Okay, now I only have cutscenes to skip and uh, some waiting time. And then we are done. The timer is going to stop when the ending illustration shows up. After skipping the last cutscene. So there will be one cutscene right here. That I'm going to skip. Then sometime 
some like free time I guess a few seconds then I guess in here and it's done 25 26 this one was good so I think I'm going to stop here for assassin mod and I guess next up will be which mod which is probably going to be more challenging actually but I guess we'll see some other day anyway that will do it for me thanks for watching bye